Welcome back everybody. Now today I'm taking a look at the Ember, which is a $130 mug. It's a smart mug controlled by an app on your phone, but is it really worth the cost? Let's find out in today's video. All right, no preliminaries. Let's jump right into it with the unboxing. Here is the Ember mug. I actually paid $129.95 for this thing as a temperature control mug. 14 ounce version. Pour, adjust, and enjoy. Over here, keep your drink hot. Enjoy 80 minutes of battery life. Control your smartphone, safe to hand wash. Now well, it's a nice presentation, as I would hope it would be. Oh, it's very, it's very heavy. And this must be the coaster here. That's uh, nice, I guess. I guess they're saying don't put liquid in there. Okay. You got a charger. So we got some instructions here. Where are these instructions? They are instructions. I have to read these over very carefully. Got some stickers I won't use. Do not microwave. All right, I won't. I won't. No liquid in here. No microwaving for this. Got it. All right, so now that I've opened up the claims are that it's controlled by smartphone app, but it can be used without the app too. You can choose the exact temperature you want between 120 and 145 degrees Fahrenheit. Auto sleep feature. Battery lasts about 80 minutes, but it also has a charging coaster. This also comes in a few different sizes, including a travel mug version, I believe. On Amazon, the pros, people that like it said it does a great job of keeping coffee and other beverages warm, and the app is easy to use. Those who did not like it said that most of the cons seem to be about the cost, paint chipping, or the battery life not being that accurate. What I have to do now is charge this up, wash it out, read the instructions, and then get started. All right, so I've gone over the instructions, I've charged it up, but I haven't actually used it yet. So what you're supposed to do first is download the app from the App Store. That was no problem. And pair it with the mug. That was no problem either. Pairing it with a mug is just as simple as pressing the button on the bottom. You can also turn it off by uh, pressing this button as well. A couple things they're pretty adamant about is this does not go in the microwave because it's electronic and you don't really want to get liquid in here either so you got to make sure your coffee cup is dry. You can use it without the coaster but the coaster give, basically gives you all day charging. This is supposed to last about 80 minutes. Some of the Amazon comments have, were complaining that this doesn't last the full 80 minutes. So you really have to leave it on the coaster all the time so we'll see if that actually is the case or not. So as far as I've gotten is to play around the app so let me show you how the app works. So when you look at the app it just shows empty. You can at the bottom here, you can slide this over to adjust the temperature, which I'm not doing just yet because I don't have anything in there. If you tap the gear at the top, you have a few settings here. As you can see, the battery level shows 100% and you can see the charge icon next to it. If I lift it off of the charger, it detects it pretty quickly. And back on there. There's a little light right here, but you can personalize the color of that light. You can do a yellow, you can do green, whatever color you want. I'm, I'm picking blue for right now. Right now it knows that the ember is empty, so it's, it has the heater off. When I add liquid to it, it defaults to 135 degrees Fahrenheit, but you can go anywhere from 120 to 145. That's, a, that's the range, so you can't go any hotter or colder than that. No messing around, let's get right to the first test here. This should be easy to check out, right? So what I'm gonna do is take the coaster off. You're going, uh, you're going solo here, buddy. No more training wheels for you, you gotta go on your own. I've got some, some pretty warm water here. I try to get it around coffee temperature. I'm gonna pour about one cup into each one of these and let them sit and see what happens. Regular coffee mug, 124. Ember, 125, so one degree off. All right, so the Ember app already knows the temperature of the liquid in the cup, which is kind of impressive actually. And the heater's not on, see so it's actually gone down by a degree. Now let's kick the heater on a little bit and put it up to 135. And this one doesn't get anything. It's just going to sit here. So let me see if it can actually warm it up to 135. I don't know. Well, it looks like it already went up a degree. Oh, this is going to be interesting. 124, it's already going up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see how long it takes to warm this up to 135 and see how much this one's gone down in the same amount of time. It hit the target temperature. In fact, it gave me a notification telling me that my target temperature was hit, which is kind of nice. That took about six minutes. Let's check the temperature of these, by the way. Okay. The white mug. 111 degrees, 112 Fahrenheit. The ember, oh this, 96, much cooler. Now let's take a temperature of the actual water inside. All right, that's gone down by about four or five degrees. 134.6, close. Uh, slight difference in measurement, but it looks like it's pretty close to 135. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is actually let this battery run out. One of the complaints on Amazon has been that the mug doesn't last as long as people think. It's supposed to last 80 minutes. Let's find out. 
And then after 80 minutes or however long the battery lasts, I'll do a temperature check of the mug and see how much that's dropped as well. I'll be back in 80 minutes or less. So I got a notification at the 80 minute mark that it was time to recharge my Ember. So really right on schedule. What was weird is it stayed at 6% for 25 minutes. So it warmed all the way to 5%, but at 5% it stopped warming. I guess the 5% is just to give you time to start recharging it. So let's take a look at the temperatures of the two of them at the 80 minute mark and see how it stands. All right, the control mug is at a, a brisk 84, 84 degrees. The Ember mug, the app says uh, 128, this is saying 127, so it's still warm. The white mug is, the outside is 83 degrees. The ember is at the 80 minute mark, 99 degrees. So it's actually a little bit warmer, I think. I think, wasn't it 96 originally? So it's actually gotten warmer over the last 80 minutes and this one has obviously gotten cooler. Well, that was pretty fun, but let's try in a real world test tomorrow morning with an actual cup of coffee first thing in the morning and see how it does. Good morning. It's uh, oh, after 6 a.m. here. Morning routine for me. Tossing the ball to Bailey. I made a big thing of coffee. I put it in the two cups. They were 145 degrees when I first got up. I got some ball tossing to do first. Bailey time first, then coffee time. All right, Bailey's gonna chase some birds and lizards for a minute while I have a few sips of coffee here. Huh, it's still warm. They'll only be getting cool by now. So, so far, so good. All right, so here we go. Dog time is over. I fed the dogs. I got situated here, and now I'm about to finish my coffee. I've only drank about a quarter of it. I've, I'm, I've been busy. That's how mornings get, right? And then when that usually happens, you end up having this kind of lukewarm coffee and you put it in the microwave or something to warm back up, which is, that's not, that's not ideal. Let's do a taste slash warmth test to see how it goes. Ember first. Mm. That's the same temperature I poured it at. Very nice. My favorite coffee mug. Not gonna go well. Mm. Oh, I, I do not like lukewarm coffee. Let me take the temperature of these and see where they're at. That's not good. Much better. There are warming coasters out there, and if this one has to stay on the coaster for some people, then I don't think this would have an advantage over something cheap like that. It's currently 82 degrees here in Las Vegas at 6.45 in the morning, and this is barely warmer than 82 degrees. This one, last check, was almost 140. I think I have it set for 138. This is nice. This is not so nice. I poured the coffee in here at about six o'clock it's 6 45 right now and the battery shows 18 percent based on what i saw yesterday i still should have quite a bit of time left even though the battery looks like it's running out as i said yesterday that's probably one reason why people are thinking the battery life isn't very good because they're they're trusting the app to be accurate it's not i really like the ember i don't like the price i think if you lopped off about maybe at, oh 100 bucks it'd probably be a great deal at 130 man that's that's a tough sell on the other hand so is lukewarm coffee Mm. It's funny, people like cold coffee or hot coffee, not lukewarm coffee. All right, it hit 6% in about 50 minutes. Let's see how long it takes to hit 5% and turn the warming off. Just like yesterday, it's still at 6% after almost 20 minutes. They need to fix that. All right, at 7.13 a.m., it finally went from 6 to 5%, which means it shut the warming off on the mug, so it lasted about 75 minutes. All right, two quick pieces of information before I wrap this thing up. Number one, I did try charging this all the way from 5% up to 100 and it took over two hours. So it's kind of a slow charging process for the mug itself. The other thing I wanted to try out is because I knew it'd probably be asked is how long does it take to go from room temperature water up to the target? So I filled this with 72 degree water and it took 54 minutes to go up to a target of 135. So not really more uh, much of a heater, more of a warmer. That leads me to my pros and cons. The pros would be that it works pretty much as it's supposed to as advertised. It keeps your drink warm. You don't have to be tethered to a coat so you can kind of walk around it's going to stay warm 
I like that. It actually feels nice. It has a nice ceramic coating, although I think there's a metallic interior. They also offer it in different sizes and colors, so I do think that overall it works exactly as it's supposed to. Now, as far as the cons go, the two cons are pretty big cons, though. Number one is the price is at $130. Come on, it's, it's hard to justify $130 for a mug. I think a lot of people will not pay that. Even if you don't mind paying $130 for it, the next con might apply to you, and that's the temperature. If you're someone who likes to drink coffee or tea that's one step short of liquid hot magma, this doesn't get that hot. It only goes to $145. So someone like me who doesn't mind it, kind of on the more moderate side, I'm, I don't really mind it so much. So $145 is enough for me, but if you like really hot drinks, this may not get it warm enough for you. You. To me, I really like it. I'm going to keep using it. Uh, it's, the temperature I don't mind because I drink my, my drinks around that temperature range anyways. I already have it because I bought it for this review, so I'm definitely going to keep using it. But if you've tried the Ember, tell me what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you next time.